Hi guys, so I look a bit different, don't I? <laughs> um, yeah, so after I bleached my hair, I had like, I did like a deep condition, I haven't put any heat on it, um, and then when it dried, after I deep conditioned it and then washed it obviously, the ends were just so, like, it's like they feel like elastic-y, like stringy, so yesterday I just decided to go out my hair with some scissors by myself and I cut about this much hair off which look I wouldn't recommend it maybe get some someone else to do it but yeah like if you're if you're bleaching your hair like I did in that video just be very careful because this part of my hair was already bleached before I bleached it so it kind of ruined it is that better or is it worse I completely forgot to put a light on so sorry about that I'm just gonna put my hair out of my face Okay, I really want to do like a super colourful smoky eye or something like that. So, what you have to do with this, I'm going to start on my eyes first because otherwise if I get fallout, it will be, be annoying to wipe away. So I do my eyes first. I'm still clinging on to my old shape tape. Like, it's the best concealer and there's still a tiny bit left in there. So I'm milking it for everything it's got. Because the Makeup Revolution one just doesn't quite cut it. It's a good dupe but it's not quite the same. So I'm gonna use my shape tape as like a base for my eyes. I'm using this sponge that my nan got me from TK Maxx for Christmas, which is like the best makeup sponge I've ever had. Better than the Real Techniques one, better than the Beauty Blender one. It's just like so soft and I don't know. But I don't know what the brand was. It was just like, you know, TK Maxx just sells random brands, so. If this gets manky, I don't know how to get a new one. <laughs> what made me want to do like a smoky, bright coloured eye is because I watched Jamie Genevieve's video of her reviewing um, the Luna... Is it called Luna palette? It's, M it's Manny MUA's like brand palette. And I loved how she did her eye makeup, it was amazing. So. I'd like to do something, something like that. Obviously I'm not a makeup artist, I'm not that great at makeup, so this probably isn't gonna come out like I want it to, but I wanna give it a go. By the way, I'm using my Makeup Revolution um, setting powder in lace to just set my concealer. I'm actually gonna use my um, Makeup Geek eyeshadows that I've got singles of here. Um, had these for so long like I've hit pan on a few of them I really like Makeup Geek's eyeshadows I'm going to start with I think I'm just going to go straight in so I'm going to go for this actually no this is a Colourpop eyeshadow and this is in Stay Golden so I'm going to use that one I'm going to use this Bleach London brush which I didn't like at first it doesn't have a name on it I think it's just their blender brush. I didn't like it as first because it was so hard, but now that I've used it, it's actually softened up a bit. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to go straight into that eyeshadow, which does kick up a bit, so it's a good idea that I didn't put my foundation on first. Just going to blend it into the crease. That's it, she like makes her eyeshadows come out to a point. So I'm going to attempt that. I've never tried to do it before. I'm not really sure. Do you think this looks okay? <laughs> right, now I'm going to go in with a Makeup Geek shadow in the colour Bitten. But I'm just going to darken up this smoky bit. I don't think it looks too bad. Did that even help? I don't know. I'm going to use this Makeup Geek shadow in Vintage. It's like a grey purple. It's cute. With the same brush, of course. And I'm just going to try and darken it up a little bit because that bitten shade didn't really do much. 
That's a bit better actually. I'm going to take this velvet shade from the Metal Mattes palette by Kat Von D. Um, because it looks like the kind of shade that I need to just... Deepen this up a bit. I'm going to go back in with my blendy, blendy, blendy brush. Okay, I'm liking the look of it. Now I need like a metallic bit of flash from here. So I'm going to go in with flash first, which is like a super pretty gold. And I'm just going to put that on my finger. Whoa! That gold is actually magical. That is not wet or anything. Like, I haven't put any setting spray or anything on my finger. Wow. That's pretty magical. Now I need a makeup wipe. I've done this really messily, but it's alright because I can wipe the excess away so maybe that was too much I'm gonna do my face makeup do you care about that yes okay <laughs> you can you can watch me do it if you like <laughs> moisturizer I'm gonna run through this quick Bulldog moisturiser. I'm going to spray a little bit of this Bleach London Hard uh, AF Hard AF setting spray. This stings my eyes a little bit, but it's good to like make your face sticky enough for your foundation. I'm using my Fenty Beauty foundation. I usually do about two pumps, I would say, for my whole face. But as you know, I like to leave my freckles of foundation so I'm going to put my foundations around my freckles I'm going to put some shape tape on again I'm avoiding my freckles <laughs> there we go I'm going to put a tiny bit of powder where I put the shape tape right what am I doing now oh I'm going to use my MUA bronzer in sun kissed bronze I think they've come out with a new bronzer recently I need to check that out because it looks really nice I'm going to use my Fenty highlighter in Hustler Baby because I love this highlighter so much. Someone's died mowing their grass. I'm going to have to close the window now, aren't I? That's so annoying. I'm sorry if you can hear someone mowing their grass. Mm. Blush. This is Natural Collections blush in Peach Melba? Whatever. I'm going to do my lower lash line with my eyeshadow so I'm going to go into that velvet shade from the Metal Matte um, eyeshadow palette by Kat Von D. I'm just kind of going to connect the bottom lash to the top if that makes any sense. <gasps> I keep catching myself wanting to do that stupid um, I'm going to take this glitz shadow here I'm just going to put that on the inner corner of my eye I'm going to take this eyeliner from Kiko I've never used this before have I used this? so I'm just going to run this across my walls line and I'm going to tight line with it Oh no, look what I did. Oh no. Okay, emergency, emergency, quick. Uh, hmm. Gotta fix this. I'm gonna have to make the other side darker because I just messed up. <laughs> Damn it. Does it just look messy now though? No, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. 
I'm just gonna put I'm just putting a tiny bit of eyeliner on it on my lash line and then I'm gonna smoke it out a bit look yeah I'm not a makeup artist sometimes you mess up and you have to wing it <laughs> So I'm just using the other side of this eyeliner to just smudge this a bit. Wow, this is really hard and it's not smudging it at all. I'm going to use a brush because that is not working. I'm going to use this little tiny brush. It's an accent brush. And I'm going to go in to my Kat Von D palette again and pick up the black. And hopefully that will help it smudge it a bit. And the person has stopped mowing their lawn. Thank you very much. Okay, it worked on that side, but it's not working on this side. Why is that? Right, I need to calm down. Relax. I can fix this. I'm back in with the colour velvet and try and cover up that black and oh my gosh, it actually worked bit darker than I wanted but it's okay I'll go back in with the blender brush just blend the edges a bit because it got a bit crazy in there I'm gonna do my eyebrows I'll be back in a second eyebrows done I'm gonna cut my lashes this look is a lot so I don't think I'm gonna put eyelashes on should I I don't think I should should I Oh, I'm using my Kiko Extra Sculpt Volume Mascara, obviously. This is the only mascara I use because it's the best in the world. Do I need lashes? Maybe if I just put one more coat on, I won't need lashes. I want to put a nude lipstick on. Mm. Yes. I'm going to use this um, Velvet Kiss by Collection. Oh, they started buying their lawn again. How much grass have you got, man? This is in the colour Caramel 2. I really like the formula of these. I should try the NYX one, shouldn't I? The suede. Are they called suede something? There we go. Here's my finished look. I hope you liked it. I know it's a bit dramatic, but I think it's cute. I don't really do like really smoky eyes like this, so something different. Yes, anyway, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see this face, then hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. Bye.